Welcome to Market Minute on HBS TV, the only Harvard University channel where you can get the inside scoop on Wall Street. I'm Mia Saini, and here's a look at what shook the markets today, Monday, November 17th. With Japan confirming it's in a recession and U.S. companies posed for a bear market in 2009, stocks tumbled today. Dow down 224 points, S&P 500 down 23 points, and NASDAQ down 35 points. In light of the financial crisis, seven executives from Goldman Sachs will take home zero in bonuses this compensation cycle. This came as a surprise to the street since compared to other firms, Goldman Sachs has been relatively unscathed. Goldman will report its fourth quarter earnings next month and analysts anticipate it will have its first quarterly loss as a public company. Last year, CEO Lloyd Blankfein took home a whopping $68.5 million in cash and stocks and what was recorded the largest payout for that year. And speaking of CEOs, Vikram Pandit, the CEO of Citigroup, held a town hall meeting today to announce it will lay off more than 50,000 people and it will look to downsize. The town hall was in response to Citi's dwindling stock price and to address employees' concerns over the rough market. The consumer spending picture is not getting any rosier. Target is the latest retail store to announce how far off the bullseye it is. Today, the firm announced a 24% decline in third quarter net income. In the current environment, Target is trying to retain healthy profit margins, all the while hoping to entice consumers with sales and discounts. And the Senate made it clear today that they do not want the U.S. automakers to fail. However, they will not provide assistance in the form of funds from the $700 billion bailout plan. Congress is still trying to determine what size check the Department of Energy should write to save the likes of GM, Ford, and Chrysler. Lastly, the owner of Dallas Mavericks is in some serious trouble, specifically insider trading. The SEC is claiming that Mark Cuban sold 600,000 shares of Mama.com, an internet search engine firm, prior to the company's stock offering. Cuban plans to contest the allegations. And that's your quick look on the news that rocked Wall Street today. Have a great week.